So if we rewind 31 years and three months, on May 15, 1992. For three decades, we knew very little about Mary Jane Doe. A partial autopsy was done at that time, what could be done. These steps led to the home where police found her body wrapped in a blanket in a flooded basement. The home no longer stands, but the mystery of her death still does. Uh, Corinne Brock did some articles in the newspaper regarding our Mary Jane Doe. Corinne Brock began working the mystery as a reporter for the Journal Gazette. I learned that Fort Wayne has three unidentified decedents, now two. Um, so I was really interested in learning more about those and decided to reach out to the coroner's office and see if I could talk with them about those cases. Now with 21 Alive News, she's continued working to find out what happened. I just thought it was so strange that this 26 weeks pregnant woman um, wasn't identified. Nobody ever came forward and said, hey, this might be my missing loved one. This week came a breakthrough. They were able to go through um, and confirm through DNA that Mary Jane Doe's father um, is 100% her father, and they were able to confirm her identity through that. Do we have a timeline that we can handle? Thursday, out? a news conference with law enforcement and DNA experts. Hopefully, like I said, we got her ID now, and she has a name again. And, uh, and family. I think we're going to just go from here and hopefully get even better news. For the first time since 1992, one step forward. We now know Mary Jane Doe is Tabitha Ann Merlin. This, this, is, this is good, but we need to find out what happened. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.